heater has gone out of the bathroom. <laughs> second time that it's happened, and uh, it's probably the last 10 years, but the first time was with Josh's dad. <laughs> the so, church, uh, yeah. Now we get round two with the same family. And, uh, so I don't know what it is. I told Josh, I said, maybe it's the name. Uh, and uh, so we're going to make this as quickly as possible because uh, uh, it is a little cool in the water. Uh, so uh, Josh, come on down. We're going to take you the rest of faith. Uh, you know... There were days that uh, I guess I was yelling. I don't know who. Make sure you look at Allison. She was <laughs> trembling for it, brother. <laughs> so let's uh, let's take your confession of faith, and uh, we're going to have a quick prayer. All right. So Josh, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me and say, "I believe." That Jesus, is the Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, of living God. and he is my personal Savior. My personal Savior. And uh, we just rejoice with that confession of faith. Let's pray together. Father, I do thank you so much for Josh and his, his family. And Father, I just thank you for the confession of faith that we have heard here this morning. And now that he is obedient even unto baptism, I just pray that uh, as you have given him new life, that together as a church family, that we can serve as an encouragement to him, that together as co-laborers for your kingdom, that we can bring others and see others come to this same time in their own lives when they are saved through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we just rejoice together that we get to be a part of this occasion. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Josh, because you have confessed Christ as your Lord and Savior, and for the forgiveness of your sins, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son.